everybody. Welcome to Unshackled, where we talk about money, motivation, and mental health. Today, what are we doing? We are traveling the country. We have two infants under the age of two. My son Jonah is 15 months old, and then my son Caleb is, what is he, four and a half months? Yeah, four and a half months old. They're ten and a half months apart. And we're currently in the middle of Nevada. Now, we've been doing this the past, this is day three of doing a 12-hour trip. And man, guys, I'm exhausted. I'm tired. My eyes are burning. I'm sick of driving. Um, but there's a lot of motivators in this. Um, so Stan and I, we believe in living an extraordinary life. We love to travel. We want to go above and beyond and be extraordinary. So I'm just giving you guys a little bit of insight on what it's like to be traveling in the country with these two infants under the age of two for a second time. The first time we did it, we had a nanny with us. The second time, we're doing it alone. So what we did is basically my son, he still eats it in the middle of the night. He eats at 4 a.m. now. He'll eat at 8 and then he'll go to bed at 4. Now what we did is after his 4 a.m. feed, we're immediately on the road because Jonah, my firstborn, he doesn't need food until 8.30 or 9. So if we're on the road early, they're both sleeping till 8, 8.30, 9-ish. It's working pretty well. So, and then we also, um, yeah, I'm speeding. Sorry, I'm getting a little carried away. Yeah, and so then we're traveling. We have to stop every two and a half hours. We delay our seat. Now this little guy's crying in the back. Like, this is just an example. But we're going to be stopping very shortly. But I just wanted to tell you guys, like, anything is possible. We're at the very last, what, eight hours of our drive right now. Seven hours now, I believe. And I just, I, I just wanted to motivate you guys because I was feeling a little overwhelmed before we started this whole move. I'm like no we could do it we've done it once we'll do it again even without a nanny like we can make anything work and I am really excited for this move um so basically like when we arrive at the hotel we have to carry in stuff that looks like it's worth a week's worth of stuff but I use every oh. <laughs> all right let's go I'll help you pull it bit of it it's so tiring it's so exhausting my son we have to put him to bed in this single room where like we can't even shut him off so I mean it's very hard and Stan and I are both tired but we're positive and we're enjoying it and we're making the most we're having such deep conversations on this drive and I just wanted to share some of this experience with you guys and some of these conversations because it really it I, my key is we want to motivate people through this channel and look we're making it work two infants under the age of one, traveling the country. Well, they were under one the first time. They're both under two now. But what I'm saying is, like, things that can keep you guys going is just knowing that anything is possible. You can't say, oh, that's not possible. Like, this is what Sin and I were saying. Like, so many people with what we're doing right now, they're saying it's impossible. I'm like, no, we're doing it. It's totally possible. Um, I mean, is it a lot of work? Yeah. But are we making a way to do it without attacking each other? Yes, and that's my key with you guys is you have to have the mindset that you could accomplish anything or else you're not going to accomplish anything. I'm like, yeah, we could travel the country with two infants under the age of two without a nanny. Like most people are like, no way. Even if you don't believe it at first, that's my concept of like telling yourself you could do it and eventually you're going to believe it. Uh, oh, excuse me, it's really like dry in Nevada, but like Stan, add on stuff if you want to add on stuff. See, one of the side effects of doing all this is I didn't get time to shave. My beard, my eyebrows are become a unibrow now. <laughs> but what I would say is I'm currently unemployed because I'm going to my next contract. Uh, we have some financial pauses, which I'm not getting paid by this while we drive or this week or the next week. So we have the stressors, but we know we have to do this and we have to make it work. And we have Caleb crying in the background. Yeah, we're... All right, now that I put a pinky in his mouth. <laughs> this uh... is a constant thing. Like, Stan has to keep going in the back. I have to reduce my speed so I can put the binky in Caleb's mouth so I can focus on driving without screaming. <laughs> so, what I was saying is, uh, we have a lot of barriers which make it hard to do what we do. And many people tell us, oh, 
you don't have the stuff you don't have the problems we have i have kids oh uh, my husband works there my my you do this you do that my thing is anyone can give excuses we have a lot of problems and it doesn't make it easy for us to travel and do this our goal is to live life to the fullest i'm not saying you know lose your job i, I don't have a job right now but i'm going to a job uh same to you right yeah, i mean currently, I like correct me if i'm wrong a lot of the barriers that we have against us is a mean for somebody to say that is impossible we can't do that if the barriers we had were on somebody else they'd say no we can't travel the country we can't do what you're doing um or we can't do this because of these barriers like stan and i so like well we have kids we can't do it or oh we have a lot of debt and the flooding issue of the basement happened like it's, I mean, our debts are in assets, but like what I'm getting at is like with the flooding in our basement, it would just, people would say, no way, we can't leave. We have a house issue. We have this, the, oh, just sell the other house and just like give up. Like, I mean, there's so, like everything that we have against us, the majority of people would say it's impossible. And, 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 um, and many would give up, right? Many, yep. many would say, uh, you know what, let's just stop it because it's stressful, but I keep thinking, how much more time do I have in on Earth to do things, to, to max out, to max out what you can, to take risk, a little risk. If you want to do something, go take action. Don't wait. Time's flying. It's already February, February eighth, yeah. uh, and you know it'll be soon December. And you want to know what you did in this whole year was beneficial and something you wanted. So if there's something you really want. Don't say, wait, I'll do it later, I'll do it later, I'll wait for the right time. Yeah, the right time is today or it was yesterday. If you keep so. saying, oh, I'll wait for the right time, that's never going to come because the right time is never. Right? I mean, like, Stan, when we had Jonah, when I kept saying, I want a baby, I want a baby, Stan and I are like, oh, we'll wait for the right time, this and that. And we're like, no, you know what? You're never going to be ready for that time. If you're not ready now, you're never going to be ready. That's my concept. Like, you have to be ready. Whatever your mind wants to accomplish, you have to be ready right now. Because if you say, oh, well, do that later, you're never going to be ready. If something comes in your mind that you want to accomplish, you have to be ready for it. And you can't have the I'll do it later mindset because then you're never going to get to it. You're going to get demotivated. You're going to switch your route so many times. So if you want to start something that's big and even if it's going to, even if you know it can get messy or you know it can get hard or there's so many barriers, you have to have the mindset that you are ready right now because you're never going to do it if you're not. So I think that's like one of my concepts is like Stan and I, we were going to stay in Illinois a little bit longer. We'll say, yeah, we'll go to Oregon when we're ready. But then all the situations that occurred, there was a suggestion that if we took a very bold step and immediately went back to the West Coast, that um, we could have even more than what we had in Illinois. So that's where I'm saying like, yeah, we got to keep, we got to keep moving. We got to be open-minded to ch immediate change, fast change. Um, and like when these changes, uh, when these opportunities of these drastic changes come upon us, we can't say we'll do it when we're ready. Because if you have an opportunity that's coming up and you'll say, I'll do it when I'm ready, that opportunity might go away. So no, do it now. Be ready for anything right now. Right, Stan? Yeah. And another thing is most people take action when they're motivated. No, most people don't take action when they're motivated because when you feel, you know what, I'm going to do it, go take an, go take action, go sign up for something, go, you know, go and apply for that job, go, go and do something where later on when you're not motivated, which is coming, you will, if you're motivated now and you want to do something, you're all pumped up, there's going to be a time where you won't be motivated and it'll be a long time and you'll be like, you know what, I just give up. So when you are motivated and you feel that you want to do something, go take action that you have to do it like an example is uh, I wanted to go to nursing school and I was like oh, I don't know I just went and signed up for the class and applied for the program so I'm like oh my goodness I need to do so and so to start and I need to study for the entrance exam and I cannot fail so that's one way same with Lynn's master's degree she got her bachelor's and then I told her just do it just start I told and Shin, I'll start after a little bit let me have some time off he's like don't have that mindset. Sign, you can just try to sign sign up for classes. I said, I can't even sign up for classes. Now I'll have to wait. He's like, even if you have to wait, at least sign up for the classes for the next session. I said, okay. And then the advisor actually told me, oh, you could sign up right now to start next week. And I'm like, okay, like in a way I wanted to keep it a secret from Stan, but I didn't because that would not be right. But I was like, you know what? Okay, fine. I'll just start the master's program. 
and I'm so glad that I did because now I'm almost done. I'm graduating this year and I mean, had I waited till the next semester, it would have been next year graduating. So, I mean, I'm just saying like, if you take immediate action, sometimes you'll even be surprised with how fast your progress is if you have that I'm doing this right now mindset, right Stan? Right, so with this, take action, uh, push, don't give up.